Hey, so some general notes for laying the dance floor. Uh, we'll start at corner one here, and we'll do the entire first row one piece at a time, uh, making sure that it is as aligned with the room as possible, as square as possible. And you will want to attack this screw and this screw, and gently lay the boards one at a time, and then keep screwing in the two edge screws here to get the first row secured and then continue that all the way down to the end. Once you get the whole first row down you'll kind of come take a look down the line to make sure it is as straight as you can get it and if it is a bit off uh, you can have someone walk onto the floor and just kick the floor one side one way or the other to, to get it straighter. Um, so that it will allow the rest of the floor to, to fit together well. And then once you get the second row started, you'll want to have one extra panel on the width side laid down and tacked, which you'll do with the two corner screws again. So you would go ahead and do one more panel, and then you can have people start laying down all the panels that can be filled in by the two people tacking who will prioritize this screw you'll want to stand with one foot on the panel that's already down and give it a good kick so that it's flush as possible up against the next board and then you'll come back to this corner and do the same and give it a good kick so it's nice and flush and screw that in and then keep filling in the rest of the way repeating that process of this corner and then this corner. And people can keep laying down panels that are ready as long as they don't pass you on the next row. And you wanna make sure that this, this seam, this line is as straight as possible as you go. And if you're laying the next row of panels behind people who are attacking, make sure as you lay them down that this board doesn't jump on top of that board at any of these. So just leave a little bit of space. And then once enough of the floor is tacked, people can start just screwing in all the rest of the holes behind them. And as you're going, just brush your shoe across the, the screw, and if the shoe doesn't catch, then it's in far enough. If it catches, uh, go ahead and unscrew it and try re-screwing it again. If it really won't work, and the rest of the screws for that panel are, are working, then you could just skip that screw.